Spectrophotometers use a variety of different light sources. The choice of which light source to use depends upon the measurement you plan to make. In some cases, light sources will also need a wavelength selector before the light reaches the sample. This video will explore some of these light sources and wavelength selection options. Light sources fall broadly into two categories based on how many wavelengths are generated by the light source. Polychromatic light sources generate a range of wavelengths, while monochromatic light sources produce only one. The list provided here is not comprehensive, but names a few of the most common light sources used in spectrophotometers. Each light source is useful for a different wavelength or wavelength range. Keep in mind that the intensity of all wavelengths in the ranges noted are not the same. While a light source can be used for a given wavelength, it might not be the most intense option and can limit the sensitivity of the instrument at that wavelength. This should be kept in mind when selecting a light source. As noted in this list, some of the sources can be used across multiple sections of the electromagnetic spectrum and can be used in tandem for some instruments. For example, a UV-Vis spectrophotometer will use both the tungsten filament lamp and deuterium arc lamp. When scanning through wavelengths from low to high, the UV-Vis spectrophotometer will start in the low UV range using the deuterium arc lamp and then change light sources to use the tungsten filament lamp when it reaches 360 nanometers. The 360 nanometer switching point is dictated by the point at which the lamp intensities are roughly the same. Since spectrophotometric measurements are made in a wavelength-dependent manner, it is important to use monochromatic light. If the light source in the instrument is polychromatic, this can be done using a wavelength selector, such as a monochromator or a filter. A classic monochromator is a Cezerne Turner grading monochromator. In this setup, polychromatic light enters the monochromator and is directed onto a reflective grating. This grating contains a number of closely spaced parallel grooves with an angled surface between them that is coated in reflective material. The grating surface diffracts the light or reflects each wavelength off its surface at a slightly different angle, thus separating each wavelength from each other in space. The angle of the diffraction grating dictates which wavelength of light reflects off the second mirror at the right angle to exit through the exit slit. Ideally, we would want a monochromator with a high resolution, or one that can separate two wavelengths that are very close in number, say within a few hundredths of a nanometer. Improving resolution can be achieved in the monochromator by decreasing the spacing between the grooves of the grating. It could also be achieved by narrowing the exit slit or by increasing the distance between the second mirror and the grating. Another option for removing unwanted wavelengths of light is to use a filter. There are several types of filters, such as holographic filters, dielectric filters, or interference filters, and each of these work in a slightly different way. But in all cases, filters basically permit certain bands of wavelengths to pass through them while either absorbing or reflecting other wavelengths. Filters are, in general, more robust and less expensive than grading monochromators, but they often have lower resolution when compared to monochromators, so there's a definite trade-off. When selecting a filter, keep in mind which wavelengths you need to pass through the filter and what resolution is needed for your application. That will help you make the decision between not only a monochromator and a filter, but also exactly which kind of monochromator or which kind of filter you would end up needing. In summary, there are lots of options for light sources and wavelength selection that can go into a spectrophotometer. Careful consideration of the end application can help you select the right parts for your instrument. Thanks for watching.